So I think I mentioned this the other day on one of my Instagram reels that I posted uh, just in the captions where officially Texas has sued Instagram fitness influencer Brittany Dawn. So if y'all don't know about Brittany Dawn, do yourself a favor. Go look up background information and the history of Brittany Dawn. She used to be a fitness influencer and trainer. Um, she has since kind of transitioned into like a faith guru. I don't really know what you call it. She's very big on her faith all of a sudden. After she got sued for scamming people out of like hundreds of dollars because she was customizing, selling these customized fitness plans. So anyways, what had happened was people who had purchased Brittany's, Brittany Dawn's uh, customized programs, they started chit-chatting and they come to find out had received the exact same thing. I know, shocking because fitness influencers do that. Not to mention, some didn't receive a fitness program whatsoever. And they all tried to get her to refund them. She wouldn't even message them back half the time. But she continued to post her little Instagram worthy, expensive trips, luxury life that was being funded by selling these uncustomized cookie cutter <laughs> workout programs to people. So then she did this whole crying apology video, right? And I love this video, y'all should go search this. Because the video where Brittany Dawn apologizes, basically she says that she grew her business too fast, she made mistakes, which is BS, because you didn't only grow your business too fast, you ripped people off, sugar. So anyways, then she took like a short hiatus. She basically rebranded herself from fitness to faith. Not me. Faith in God. Yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know how those two correlate it, but they did. And all of a sudden, she's a believer. Not only is she a believer, she's out there judging people for the way they live their lifestyle, which I just think is hypocritical AF. Now... She's charging hundreds of dollars for basically a faith retreat where she baptizes you. It's like whining and dining with the devil and trusting that he's not going to push and hold your head underwater, isn't it? Hmm. Anyways, it's absolutely ridiculous. So the woman initially, she's Brittany Dawn, she struggled with anorexia and she kind of positioned herself with hey i overcame anorexia i can help you overcome eating disorders too go me um from my understanding she's not trained certified educated in fitness or in helping people overcome eating disorders or dealing professionally with those which is so dangerous not only that but People would email her and ask her questions, and she'd send a generic response email. It was horrendous. So now the state of Texas is filing that lawsuit because these people could never get justice. They tried to sue her, and nothing ever came of it. Um, and I think that that was filed on February 14th on Valentine's Day. In total, they're currently suing up to a million dollars. So I'm extremely curious to see how this plays out. And this is why y'all need to be so careful like going to these fitness influencers and everything, um, especially when you're paying for customized plans. They take these plans that are generic, they slice your calories super low so that if you follow it, sure, you'll lose weight. You'll lose weight the wrong way. You'll typically develop an eating disorder because you're starving your body and you're doing it so drastically. Um, but be extremely careful. Go to a professional and <laughs> just watch. Do not pay people hundreds of dollars for stuff that they have no education on. Be careful.